Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys a bit of an update on the George hero. So traditionally, George is one of the weaker heroes out there because for the most part, uh, other classes would have advantages getting, you know, better rolls, better starts, better just everything else. And George, while his hero power to give something permanent divine shield for three gold is actually really good, he wouldn't really be in a like relaxed position in the game where he could just burn three gold for it. Usually just struggle to stay alive the whole time and often don't even do that. So George has been kind of weak overall over over the ages of battlegrounds but that has changed a little bit lately because uh primarily death rattle builds primarily those based off of macaws right now because of macaw um, are actually builds that can spring really quickly so you don't actually need to roll very much you don't actually need to have very rare cards most of the time uh, get some kind of powerful death rattle effect find a baron get a few parrots and there's like three times as many parrots as any other t tavern five card in the card pool so you're gonna get them eventually and it's it becomes a situation where you have a really strong build and it's pretty difficult to improve it from there but if you're george and you have that strong build, improving it from there is actually really easy because you start using your hero power and you have a massive edge over people doing those other builds that are similar to yours. So give it a try. George ain't so bad. Just don't play him when beasts are banned, all right? You, you gotta get those parrots going. Enjoy the video. Uh, yikes. What do we have? Murlocs and beasts. Let me try George. Beast build is pretty quick and easy to do and giving divine shields i think makes it pretty strong they're generally available only in the u.s that's true i believe they're trying to branch out a bit right now i think we're just gonna try to power to two so none of that is worth it it's a food delivery app that's right you get the app on like your phone and then instead of like getting out of your chair and getting food you use the app and the food comes to your door That's really quite good, actually. I think I'm gonna freeze for it. I don't think I want to play Murlocs, um, but uh, Righteous Protector is a pretty strong card at this stage in the game. And having a double Tide Hunter, it's very gold efficient, and it's actually about on par with most five gold turns. I don't know, Reverbish. I don't know about that. Unless I get, like, the god roll, I'm not going to go Murlocs. This is a game that has the Murloc hero. It has Rafam, which will often have the incentive to play Murlocs. It has uh, Hook Tusk, which often plays Murlocs. And uh, George is not very well known for his ability to make it to high tavern tier, <laughs> to say the least. Um, so even though we have a, a lot of Murlocs at the start, we're, we're actually probably going to try to avoid Murlocs. But you know how it goes sometimes. Sometimes the game doesn't let you avoid Murlocs. Oh, there's two Rafams. Alright, that's just, that's just ridiculous. I didn't even realize that was a Rafam. Two Rafams, Hook Tusk, and Flurgle in this game. Holy crap. Any that makes you I cannot ignore this card, it's way too strong. I think I'll actually do that and freeze. If I don't get anything I like, getting the other demon and maybe just going for a juggler comp. That might actually let me place reasonably well. Instantly forces Murlocs. Again? Oh, Crip, please. I know. <sighs> it's 
That's not what I wanted. Uh, oh, actually, that'll work out on the last one anyway. I mean, that's kind of bad, but... Actually, are there two drops that do more damage? I'm not sure. Can't give him like this is a lot of gold and this is a lot of gold. Can't give him those cards. What changes are needed to make demons playable? Demons are pretty playable. They just don't win. If if the question is what would it take for demons to win, the answer is poisonous and divine shield cards. Uh, if not, maybe some cleave cards. Uh, if not, some enormous amount of buffs for cheaps. Demons a top four build. No, Demons is like a third to fourth build. Actually, no, it does pretty well against the, the Beast Death Rattle if you attack first. Yeah, I don't know, man, yeah. You're, you're like never gonna win with Demons. Like, you're just not. But yeah, it's, it's not a bad build, actually. But, uh, I think you can probably get second with it. Not too infrequently. This is a loss. A nerf Floating Watcher. Problem with Floating Watcher on 3 is you spam... Uh, Demon Boys on 1, and then when you get a triple, you get a 2, then you get the 3. But, like, that transition is just way too strong. Alright, well, we're doing horribly, as we kind of expected. Um, okay, I guess, yeah. Exactly what you were looking for, but it'll fight hard. <laughs> All right, let's not fall into this trap. Um, he only has two Murlocs, two Saralisks, six Murlocs on three, four Murlocs, six Murlocs. Murlocs is a trap. I'm calling it here. Murlocs is a trap. I'll try Beast I guess. Basically, if I get a Begurgle there, Murlocs are still disadvantaged for George. Alright. Divine Shield Macaw. Yeah, something like that. Um... We'll have to push the five for a lot of the stuff, but we gotta get a bunch of beasts first. For this to work at all. Oh, come on. No beasts. I got a, I got a Murloc buff. <laughs> Wrongs card. Infested Wolf. That's a really bad beast here. <sighs> this is Rafam again, by the way. Yeah, I think I have to attack with that first. I mean, if you low roll with George, you're you're really not going anywhere. Would Void Terror be good in BGs? Uh, yeah. This guy's not that strong, but he's probably stronger than me. And I still lose. <laughs> I was pretty lucky. But still, not enough. Damn, we almost hit that 0.1% there. Almost. Fine, I, get, I guess I'll get a bad death rattle. Uh, gold grubber? Um... I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna have enough turns in this game to make that good. Demon pings? Let's, let's rather go with a beast. That is pretty good. You're down a minion and up a gold.
That is also pretty good. Alright. Actually, let's do this. I have a taunt. He's not playing Redalox. Yeah, we got a bonus beast for it now. Good with that. The is really raging out there. Top guy Murlocs on six eight win streak. Wait. That is pretty good actually. All right. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. Damn. Got another triple. Really? Uh, yes. Uh, if you if you see this board, a mama bear would probably give me the win. Where otherwise I can't improve much. The boat. He's got murlocs. Uh, 14 is pretty hard to do given his history. I'm gonna take my Xna because my is a good card for later. In addition to being a beast right now. I basically needed one easy matchup and just haven't really gotten it. It's really only lost a hook tusk. I just need to not die. I I know I'm not gonna win. Okay. Why are the one ones not attacking? I don't understand. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. I didn't die. I mean, I, I could. I should have taken three less damage with attack order, but it really doesn't matter. this dude again. Move my X now. I think this is what I want. Sell Hyena. Uh, you mean High Main? No, I, I need the card. I need the card. I know the Lion is bad. I just need it. If Parrot triggers High Main, you lose. Uh, the Parrot does his thing twice. You think, I should, you think selling the High Main actually gives me improved odds? I think it does not. I think it does not. I think I have to take the chance. I'm, I'm pretty weak right now. If it triggers the high main once, it's okay. Especially if I'm missing a card on the board from his first attack. Which now I am, but that's not particularly good. High main and Goldrin. Goldrin's down. So that, that would have ended not so great. Baron? Okay. I'll take that, really? Well, it looks like I'm gonna get myself a win and a kill. Work out there. Keep up the pressure. You're down a minion and up a gold. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Hiring that minion will get you a triple. <laughs> Think I need a hero power.
by Hyena. A lot of the sixes are not very good. A triple Hyena is a good card. I want I want it, but this can be a problem. Triple, so many of the six drops that are any good have death rattle. Like what if I get like a Caligos, right? That doesn't help. Doesn't help at all. Divine Shield, Poisonous Beasts. Meta solved, boys. You can't Murloc. Beast them down. That's not bad. playing mechs. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Mama Bear just by being a beast is the best card, I think. Does nothing. Buffs this thing. But uh, for me right now, the most important thing is it's going to probably eat a faux reaper cleave. Which uh, is very useful. Best possible beast board. Mm, no, we're missing a baron. Double cleave. Oh, damn. There's that cleave I told you about. Baron down. Streak. Everyone's so low right now. Your minions really pulled their weight. Got a ghost match though. Murlox, Max, Murlox, Beast. No one else's beast. I think the zap is gonna be very crappy. Down a minion and up a goal. You're a power of the hyena, you think? The hyena is the next card I'm going to sell, actually. I'm going to divine shield that card, actually. The parrots are basically gold goldrums I can trigger again. These are. This one is a double golden goldrum. I will hear a power of the wolf unless I get a baron, in which case I'll hear a power of the baron. Seems fair. Well, he got one, whatever. Only one down. the Baron, you think? Fine. I'll put it in Cleave's way then. 
just in case. I kind of wanted to shield the Goldrun, because shielding the Macaw makes it go again. Yeah, the Baron still dies to Zap, that's why I wasn't crazy about this. I, nah, I, I take it back, I should have I done it on the Goldrun. Because this often will attack again, so we need the Goldrun to be alive for when it does. Uh, oh, it'll still let us up now, but if we get uh, a different kind of taunt, it won't. If we get like the 1-1 Divine Shield or something. We don't beat Galactic Murlocs. But that ain't Galactic. We beat that. Oh, wow. He buffed too, huh? Nice. Oh, damn, he's been winning. Against mechs. Better hire a recruit while you can. Or mechs. Did not think I'd face him in the final. This is a problem. Two faux reapers. Let's just do this. If we don't do this, we're dead in the water to zap. And given the fact that he's been on six forever and has four triples and knows I'm playing beasts, zap is the very first card he's going to take. For for his zap to work, he has to win two 50-50s, which is pretty unlikely. Only five buffs. Yeah, but this build has a good chance of doing two rounds of monstrous macaws. We are weaker overall, but this should be way harder to counter for him. Truly, it was way harder to counter. 25% isn't that unlikely? Well, what do you suggest? I made a play where I probably lose 25% of the time, rather than probably 100% of the time. I mean, you're right. It sucks to lose 25%, but like... I mean, if there's a zero attack Divine Shield taunt, I would have taken it. Yeah. 